uh, you know, just talk loud. Okay, I can talk loud. Project to there. Project for there to there. All right. It's hey. a one camera shot, so we it's should be good. Shot. All right. Hey, it's Andy and Jave from Two Dudes Reviews, and today we're going to talk about two different things. Um, number one, the Fuente Fuente Opus X. I'm just reading the label. Apparently, it's a really good cigar. Jave? He doesn't know Jack, and this is uh, one of the uh, preeminent big dollars, like, celebratory cigars. This would be like the Pappy Van Winkle of uh, domestic cigars here in the U.S., the Opus X. It's uh, highly sought after. It's not incredibly rare. It's just very expensive. And I'm here to, we are here to dispel any rumors on whether this is worth 40 or 50 bucks, what you're going to pay for it at, a, at a, uh, your local tobacconist, or if it's just a uh, bit of a gimmick, if it's just like, you know, uh, all hype, because a lot of cigars are all hype. And oh, we've got a wonderful bourbon. We do. So um, I want to talk about this. So this is the actual private label bottle of, um, we're going to call it a whiskey because we're not in bourbon county kentucky yeah but this is for the vfw post 3396 in sparks nevada and this is the vfw whiskey that is distilled by bird eye distillers so this is a kind of a special 80 year celebratory whiskey and we're going to have this with these apparently phenomenal cigars and we'll be the judge of that i, I guess is kind of what i'm saying Jim. yeah yeah um, so I'm pouring. You talk about that cigar. You know, it's uh, it's not an everyday smoke. I mean, most people do not have the budget, nor do we, to afford an Opus X. And really? I had a friend gift Jay, them you didn't to buy us. these for us? I had a friend gift us Where's these. The cutter? It's right here. Um, and this is a, a unique cutter, too. It's flat on the back, so it controls how much you're going to get as far as your cut is concerned. It's always an exact cut, but if you're doing kind of a slant like I'm doing here, you're going to need to cut probably three or four times. Um, yeah, so I don't know much about the Fuente Opus X, aside from the fact that it's Fuente and it's very, very highly regarded. I don't know if this is Nicaraguan uh, uh, filler. I did no research on this whatever. Uh, no research on this whatsoever. No? No, no. research? Uh, so, How much uh, research did you do, Jay? God, uh, none whatsoever. None, none whatsoever. Uh, so anyways, yeah, I, we're just going to smoke these like regular guys going like, hey man, if I'm if Wait. I got 50 bucks, I want to go celebrate. Do I want to invest my money in this cigar or not? Do I only have $50? Because I wouldn't spend $50 <laughs> on... I wouldn't spend my last $50 on any cigar. No. Uh -uh. However... Um, you know, we are blessed. Wait, where'd we get these? Uh, Mike Quinn. Mike. And we'll, what does Mike uh, do? We'll put Mike's uh, Instagram. You can check out our other video up here with uh, Mike Quinn or up here. I don't know if it's going to flip the video around. Uh, with Mike Quinn. He uh, is Charlie Sheen's manager. So Mike Quinn has Charlie Sheen money, right? He does? No, not I really. I thought Charlie Sheen had Charlie, Charlie Sheen Charlie Sheen has Charlie Sheen's money, but... He's like that. He uh, he loves to shower his friends with gifts, and we love him for that. He's a really, really great guy. Thanks, the, Mike. The draw on this cigar is Super just easy. about as perfect as you could get. It's not too heavy. It's not too light. It doesn't feel like there's any type of a plug in there. No, it's beautiful. Yep, it's not bowling me over on the first couple of uh, puffs here, which oftentimes when you first light up a cigar... That initial hit is like, oh my god, it's a big cigar. No, this is actually really smooth. I mean, as far as my palate goes, because I don't like a real big, super hot cigar. Yeah. I like more of a mellow, kind of easy smoking cigar. And I'm going to say. You're on the first third. I mean, it's, uh, yeah. Look at the Very volume easy. of smoke, too. Lots I of just smoke. thought about that. A lot Copious of smoke. Copious amounts of smoke. Copious. That's a fancy <laughs> word. All right. So now that we've had that, let's talk about the whiskey. Wow. Lots of big caramel and tobacco. Could be the cigar. Could be the cigar. So we got this whiskey last weekend. Mm. Um, at a at a barbecue competition, um, the VFW sponsored the barbecue competition, and um, they had the bottles of of, uh, of whiskey out there for sale. Verdi Distillery is a very small 
super very small. small. Yeah. Like I've tried to go there like four times, and they're just not there because well, they had other shit to do. Yeah, they so, make like eight hundred cases of uh, of booze a year. Whatever, whatever. Yeah. Super small, um, but all top quality. Yeah, and I gotta say, this is Get really smooth. Mm-hmm. Um, in this, uh, it's this is their Veterans of Foreign Wars, nineteen forty one to two thousand twenty one. 80 years. 80 years of service. It has the BFW. BFW website on here and Verdi Local Distillery, and that's it. There's no proofing. There's no bottle mark. There's no nothing on this. This is kind of a one of a kind. It's just whiskey. Here's the stuff that was in the, uh, you know, the cottage. And, and it costs just a little more than this cigar. Mm-hmm. Uh, it wasn't cheap. Um, but it's for charity it's for the local vfw and for that i am more than happy to contribute um so the by com- the way the we're doing this cigar happens. review on memorial day weekend yes uh which is a uh, a lot of folks will say memorial day is a great day to uh you know uh it, or a great time to celebrate a three-day weekend or to barbecue or whatever and i made the mistake years ago of saying happy Memorial Day to a former Vietnam Marine. And he said it is not a happy Memorial Day, it's a somber Memorial Day as we remember those who have paid the ultimate price. So this weekend we're uh, honoring those who have paid the ultimate price and enjoying our time doing it. Yeah, Veterans Day is the day to thank your local veteran or your, yeah. whoever you know that, that served in the military. Um, Memorial Day is definitely to remember those that, that, that have fallen in service of their country. Wow. Just a nice. couple of puffs on this, and it's opening up big time. And nothing too overly pronounced. There's not a lot of big pepper. There's not a lot of big uh, saltiness. There's It's just very well balanced, if I were to put it in a wine term, right? I get spicy on my tongue mm-hmm. and my lips. Spicy. Big mouthfeel, but nothing overwhelming. And that uh, that ring is pretty cool. What they've done as far as the artwork on the uh, on the band on here. the label, yeah, well, the label's pretty cool. I did have the uh, Fuente Lost City once about uh, four or five years ago, and it was one of Mike Quinn's associates who uh, gifted me a box of the Lost City. And those were tremendous cigars as well, but much stronger than this. They uh, they were a bowl you over, huge nicotine, big mouthfeel, and after and I like smoking cigars down to the nub. But after about half of one of these cigars, it was like my palate is fried. Really, I'm really, I'm ready to move on. Yeah. No, this is nice. I'm liking it so far. It's burning pretty well. We're in the wind a little bit, so I would imagine it. I expect it to be a little uneven. So this one's kind of, kind of, uh, it's got a little crater cavity in yeah, there. Yeah, mine does too. Um, it's not a razor thin burn. It's not that breezy out here. I would not expect this cigar to have any kind of run whatsoever. But both of ours have got a little bit of a run. Might get your money back, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Second thirds coming up next. And we're back. And we're back. For the second term. I yeah. say that because Jave hates it. I do. He I'm does. Like, he where, might cut it out. Where have we been? Yeah. We've been right here the whole time. <laughs> Just bullshitting. <laughs> Talking about this cigar and other things in life. Um, Jave, what's your experience right now with that? You know, starting, starting the second third, this is like an hour smoke. By the way, for anybody who's looking at this cigar and think they want to indulge, you're not going to smoke this cigar in, in, in a half an hour. Yeah. I don't know how much time has elapsed since we started, but it's a slow smoker for sure. Yeah, at least 35, 40 minutes since we started the video here, and we're just now entering the second third, and uh, I gotta say, the first third was just creamy and well-balanced, and right now it's starting to develop some of those uh, hay-like and pepper uh, flavors, a little citrus. That pepper citrus thing, yeah, I get it. Yeah. I get it, I get it. Uh, the uh, the ash is incredibly tight. It's not. It is leaning a little bit. So I'm that's because we had that little run. Yeah, but mine's kind of catching up. If you look at it, and I have not tapped that ash yet. Yeah, nor we I. all love to tap that ash, but I've not done it yet. Yeah, 
And I can see a seam in here, and I can see a, a bit of veininess, but as far as just the overall feel, it's still very tight. It's not getting mushy at all. Um, it's warming up a bit. Um, warming but, up in the in the palate, in the mouth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but overall, just a uh, really nice, easy, mellow, long smoke. This is a I conversation say. cigar. I gotta say, yeah, it, it is a, it's a nice, it's a nice stick. And, um, again, I'm thinking about kind of what's here in the back of my, what's in the back of my, my, my palate, my, you know, the, the, the flavors. Um, and I'm not really great at the minute descriptors. I'm good at very broad overall kind of, kind of descriptors. Um, really kind of warm I'm, I'm gonna say warm spice mm -hmm. is that a good one warm spice yeah um, I'm not gonna pull out individual spices because I'm not that good uh, yeah if you say warm spices you're thinking like apple pie you're thinking like cinnamon nutmeg um, uh, yeah cardamom some of those uh, yeah yeah, warm maybe spices. a little bit, a little warm spice, yeah. That has um, a bit I of a spiciness to it. There is that. You talk about pepper, right? Yeah. Um, so we're going to continue smoking these and enjoying, well, apparently, this bottle of whiskey. So the end, the third third, could be really interesting. Um, It'll be good or it will be shit, but we will let you know from a layman's perspective here on Two Dudes Reviews. Okay. How's the backdrop? Son of a biscuit eater. The uh, backdrop here is beautiful, by the way. This We've is got, our yard. Uh, uh, this backdrop is gorgeous, but the audience we're speaking to right now is even gorgeous. Yeah, sucks for you. You don't get to see it. <laughs> the hot chicks are, are now engaged here in the uh, review. But we're, we're talking about the third third. We've gone through a th two thirds of the cigar. And a quarter, we're an hour in. Or, or a quarter of the bottle. So, you know. Quarter um, of the bottle, almost an hour in. And we've been puffing on these suckers. And... Uh, this uh, this ring is very very well made. I love the uh, the um, uh, embossment on this and the attention to detail. Now you're talking about the embossment. Oh, you know what? But it peeled my cigar. Oh, wow, well, that's not a good thing. It is what it is. Uh, you know what? The cigar has developed very very nicely. Um, if I were to put this up to a La Roma de Cuba. Okay. I would almost say the La Roma de Cuba is a more elegant smoke. The uh, the razor sharp burn on it, the super bright white ash. Um, this is a fine cigar, but for fifty is bucks, it worth fifty dollars? I don't know that it's worth fifty bucks. It's a, wait, it's a nice cigar, but it's did we just get a shipment? Novelty thing. We just we just got a shipment of the Partagas Serie D, which is our favorite cigar on the planet. Yeah. That's my favorite cigar on the planet. Um, no. Yeah. This does not beat that. And we didn't pay anywhere near $50 a stick for real Cuban cigars. So, um, I would say if you're looking to splurge, you want to have a uh, celebration. It's a very, very nice cigar. Anybody you give uh, a Fuente Opus X to, if they're a cigar smoker, is going to be impressed by your palate. They're going to appreciate and, it. And they're going without to appreciate a doubt. No, it. No, without a doubt. And but, we're not, uh, we're not, but we're not experts. We're, yeah. we're just two dudes. But if you, if it's your own hard earned money and you're looking to uh, go a little large, I would pick something other than the uh, Puente Opus X. I, I, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah I got to say it. It's a nice smoke, um, but let's be blunt here. It's a nice smoke. Um, it's not a blunt. Okay. Just so you know, <laughs> you know, I don't know what the YouTube channel says about marijuana or any of that because it's not legal everywhere but this is not a blunt it's a cigar and we're having it in the third third um with a third of the bottle of whiskey from Verdi distillery um we appreciate you watching though without a doubt and uh we'll see you next time on two dudes reviews ciao what fuck you hang on, <laughs> hang on. wait you have more wait there's more but wait, there's more. On two dude reviews, I can't say you two should dudes. hear that again. Wait, wait, wait let two me. Two dudes reviews. Two dudes reviews. Boom. I was like laughing because you couldn't even say it.